up the hate Trump media mob. They're up to the same old tricks all week. They have been breathlessly pushing yet another anonymously, anonymously source unverified rumor. When will they learn about the contents of the Mueller report? We're going to address the hysteria in just a moment. They just keep lying, making it up. All right, but first, we have actual news to report. The crisis at our southern border is now spiraling out of control. Wait till you see the video we have for you tonight exclusively for Hannity. And President Trump put Mexico on notice. Take a look. We're going to give him a one-year warning. And if the drugs don't stop or largely stop, we're going to put tariffs on Mexico and products, in particular cars. The whole ballgame is cars. It's the big ball game. With many countries, it's cars. And if that doesn't stop the drugs, we close the border. Government of Mexico must be held accountable. Interestingly, they have some of the toughest laws against the illegal immigration of any country. Now, they have one year now to get their act together. But really, the answer is securing our southern border can no longer wait. And today, during a raid, ICE agents, look at this, they arrested 280 illegal immigrants working at only one company in Texas, the largest work site operation in more than a decade. In Louisiana, a previously deported illegal immigrant was arrested, get this, on more than 100 child sex crime charges, including sexual battery of a child under the age of 13. Illegal immigration is seeing a massive spike. Ports of entries are overwhelmed with traffic. They believe Trump is doing this because they see it. And our federal government's catch and release program, sadly, has expanded. That means thousands of illegal Im immigrants are simply just let free in the United States pending a court date that they'll never show up at. And guess what? They failed to show up to court, oh, let's see, 95% of the time. And as we speak, people from all over the world are literally walking into the United States because we have unprotected areas of our border. Last night, during a ride-along with Border Patrol officers in Texas, our very own Lawrence Jones witnessed two men from China walking across the shallow Rio Grande before being apprehended. We're going to have the full footage of that coming up. And you're not going to believe what Lawrence also witnessed in the exclusive video we have. First, we turn to our Hannity watch, though, on the radical 2020 uh, Democratic Socialists. Three more women now have now accused creepy, crazy Uncle Joe Biden of making them feel uncomfortable. This is now a grand total of seven. And President Trump is, well, openly mocking creepy Uncle Joe on Twitter. Earlier today, the president posted this video showing the former vice president getting, well, the Biden treatment. Four hours later, Biden responded, quote, I see that you are on the job and presidential as always. Okay, Joe, you're going to have a tough time against our, this president. Trust me, if that's your answer. But the point is, creepy, crazy Uncle Joe um, is really going to, sh what, show Donald Trump how to be president? Is that how? I mean, nothing says presidential like invading somebody's space, smelling their hair, rubbing noses, locking lips, and unsolicited back rubs. But, by the way, where is Obama? He hasn't said a word yet, sticking up for his favorite creepy Uncle Joe. Now, if Biden does want to officially throw his hat into the ring, he's soon really going to need to rub shoulders with the Democratic Party's chief kingmaker. Now, of course, would be the Reverend Al Sharpton. U.S. News World Report calling it the Al Sharpton primary. Now, this week, 12 Democratic candidates, 12 of them, are speaking at Sharpton's National Action Network convention but the ring kissing doesn't stop there. Now, Reverend Sharpton said, well, Sean Hannity's been there. Yeah, I went there to debate him and confront him with his own words. By the way, that was so popular that there were literally hundreds and thousands of people outside knocking on the door. Let us in. The room was packed. And Bozo O'Rourke reportedly personally promising Sharpton to pursue reparations as president. You might remember Senator Kamala Harris dining with Al Sharpton in an infamous Harlem restaurant just before she kicked off her campaign. And according to the Los Angeles Times, New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand never forgets to call Sharpton on his birthday. Remember, we're talking about the Reverend Al Sharpton. Again, he's a tinfoil hat conspiracy TV MSNBC. Got to start promoting 
really controversial things, like in the Tawana Brawley case or Freddie's Fashion Mart on 125th Street in New York, also accused of fomenting violence, if you remember, uh, against Jewish Americans during the 91 Crown Heights riots in New York City, saying, quote, if the Jews want to get it on, tell them to pin their yarmulkes back and come on over to my house. Pretty disgusting, pretty hate-filled, and this is not the language, well, frankly, nothing for... Reverend Sharpton, the person whose ring they're kissing. Take a look. I'm tired of the Mac and B. You ain't nothing. You a punk. F now come on, do something. We're the best chicken fries in the universe. But we don't know about some kind of sandwich chicken. Folks was in the cave when we had built empires. We learned to admire them, but they knew to admire us. We built pyramids for Donald Trump. Ever knew what architecture was? Well, that will be the 2020 kingmaker of the Democratic Party. That is the man that virtually every single candidate is now bowing down to. This is really a radical, extreme Democratic Socialist Party. Speaking of which, their fearless leader on Capitol Hill, freshman Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, once again predicting the end of days. This time she did it while treating her fans to a lengthy Instagram live session where she gulped down wine and was assembling furniture from, I guess, Ikea and for, you know, I guess a brand new luxury apartment in D.C. This goes off the rails. Take a look. How many years until the world ends again? We have 12 years left to cut emissions by at least 50 percent, if not more. And for everyone who wants to make a joke about that, you may laugh, but your grandkids will not. The apocalypse is imminent. The world ends in 12 years. Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez assembling furniture. But don't worry, America, you are in great hands. No oil, no gas, no combustion engine, no planes, no cows. We're going to show you all of the worst moments from that ranting mini monologue of the congresswoman. Honestly, it would be kind of hilarious, except for the fact that Ocasio-Cortez is calling the shots. She is the leader of the Democratic Party. Nancy Pelosi is scared to death, as I've been saying, of Ocasio-Cortez. And meanwhile, the extension of the Democratic Party, yes, the mainstream media mob, the rage Trump media mob, they are up to their same old shameful behavior. After spending over two years reporting nothing but baseless rumors, conspiracies, anonymous sources, wild speculation, Trump, Russia, collusion. Yes, the media mob ended up looking pretty stupid and very partisan. As it turns out, there was no collusion, none. That's clear. Robert Mueller determined that. And there was no obstruction. It was all a giant hoax perpetrated by Trump haters. But that's not stopping these same outlets from doing the exact same thing and starting all over again. We had an FBI investigation, two congressional investigations, and the Mueller report. Washington Post, New York Times, both reporting that some on Mueller's team are claiming the special counsel's findings are actually more damning than what the Attorney General Barr revealed in his summary, and that the report will show that Trump may, maybe did commit obstruction in some ways. Once again, reports are based on hearsay from anonymous sources, or maybe it was G.D. Ray who Mueller hired Clinton's old attorney, or Andrew Weissman who was waiting at Hillary Clinton's victory party. New York Times conspiracy theorist Paul Krugman tweeting that the reports, quote, must be presumed true. Really? Until proven false. From the same New York Times that got everything wrong up to this point? Now, until you realize that Mueller did not charge the president with anything, nothing. And the investigation after Barr and Rod Rosenstein weighed in on obstruction pretty much within seconds, um, it's over. Whether they like it or not, let's just buy into their fantasy, though, for a second. Let's pretend the Times and the Washington Post, let's say their stories are true. Let's say they got a leak from someone on the Democratic Mueller team. All right, they wanted to get this information out. And an FBI investigation must be launched immediately because that is a serious illegal leak in and of itself. 
Of course, the Attorney General, Barr, has promised to release the full Mueller report in a few weeks after redacting as recommended, oh, by even the cowardly Schiff himself and Democrats who were so angry they thought that sources and methods were revealed by Republicans, but they don't care about this in this case. Well, and they didn't want the Star report out either, about 17 current Democrats. We'll soon know what's in that report. But it doesn't matter. There's no indictment. The media, the Democrats, they just wait and analyze Mueller's findings. We'll see what, what the documents say. But no, sore losers on the left, the ones that could never accept Donald Trump won. They're trying to keep hope alive and speculation with rumors, with hearsay, anonymous sources, just like they've been doing for two plus years. Dozen stories and dozen stories about Russia, Trump collusion. Stories about Don Jr., Michael Cohn visiting Prague. I knew Michael Cohn was in Los Angeles at the time. To fake reports about the Mooch, Anthony Scaramucci, to the president himself. Fake news after fake news. Journalism in America's dead and buried. And you know something? For two years on this program, we have built a in real investigative reporting team. We have been proven right. There's not a single newsroom in America that has been more right than the team we have assembled right here on this show. And I am really proud of that fact. And here's more news. We will be proven even more right in the days, weeks, months ahead as we now see the FISA warrants, the Gang of Eight material, as we begin to dig deep into the 302s. In other words, the information that has been sitting there that will be coming out. For example, uh, FISA abuse, committing fraud on a FISA court, rigging an investigation into a preferred presidential candidate. If all these people in the news, if they really care about obstruction, really, if they, they really think that that is an important issue, how come that none of them has ever talked about the fact that James Comey's lead counsel, the head counsel of the FBI, James Baker, wanted to indict Hillary because he believed she violated the Espionage Act. That would be a crime. And also that Hillary literally and her team deleted 30,000 subpoenaed emails, acid washed her hard drive with bleach pit, beat up, had an aide beat up her Blackberries and phones with hammers and removed the SIM cards. That's the biggest slam dunk obstruction case I've ever heard of. Does the media that is back to their, their tinfoil hat conspiracies, do they ever report this? Do they really care about obstruction? Or is it sort of like they only care about beating up Trump? Like, for example, they want to beat up Justice Kavanaugh, and they want to beat up any Republican, any accusation against any Republican. Why are the I believe people so quiet as it relates to the lieutenant governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia? Oh, they only care if it's a Republican that's involved. I got it. Um, if they care about Dreamers, DACA, and the second term of Barack Obama, they actually care about building a wall and they're willing to fund it. They don't really care about Dreamers, DACA, or building the wall because Donald Trump supports it. Their rage for Trump goes that deep. That's how hypocritical they are.